G'day folks, Andy here from McDowell Manor. G'day folks, this is going to be a very quick and cheesy little clip. Uh, I wanted to show my friend Dale uh, um, an easy way of making a cheese press. So what you're looking at there Dale is four big bolts with nuts on them obviously um, two cheap bamboo cutting boards um, and I'll show you how this baby works so you can see that's really really simple you drill four holes one in each corner of the cutting boards just thread the bolts through now I'll give you a look at it in action so to speak before I show you it in action what I was saying Dale about a follower that is a follower it's made to fit on the top of your mould um, and you'll see why in a minute. Now that, I had to buy the mould to get the follower. Oh, I had no, no way I could cut plastic or anything else so it was easier for me just to buy a proper mould with a follower. Now I'll show you what it looks like when it's set up. So the measured weight goes on top. Um, I find things like plastic milk containers, you fill them with water that way you can vary the height um, and you can get pretty precise with your weights doing it that way without actually having weights and you can see there's why we need the follow-up because I've got a little tin and tuna there and that's what transfers the weight from above through that down into onto the follow-up which of course presses your cheese so it's a pretty simple setup Dale you can see um, if I can build one of them, I reckon you can well and truly build one, my friend. So hopefully that's been of help to anybody who wants to avoid buying a cheese press. Never an easier thing could be made, folks. Alright, you have a good one. <laughs>